If you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified on every new upload. Assalamu alaikum. Today we are going to study about dentine. But before that, let me just wish something for you. I hope that you all are doing fine wherever you are. I don't know from which country you're listening to me, but it really means a lot when you people come to my channel, you watch my videos and comment on the content I have created. It really means a lot and that is really encouraging and I tell you that's the only reason I am making more videos of these kind because you know video making is a very long process. You might know a content and you might have a good understanding of it but to create a video and to edit it is a really difficult task I tell you. But I really enjoy doing it and that's because of your encouragement and motivation and one more thing you won't find a girl as impulsive as i am you know you'll tell me to do something and i'll take an entire month and i won't do it but something some you can see it is around uh, 11 pm here in india and it just clicked my mind i had to make a video so i am here recording a video for you all so i'm very impulsive if something clicks my mind, it has to be done within a few minutes or within an hour or within that day, depending on the task. But um, the other way around also, you'll tell me to do something and I'll take an entire month and I won't do it. And that's not a very good behavior, you know. I want to change it because, you know, being constant in life is really important. You know, if you are into something, for example, take me, if I am into making videos, I should be very constant in making videos and I should have a schedule but I don't stick to a schedule I'm very moody and I just you know I record it anyways enough blabbering I already wasted around two minutes of your life so let's proceed with the dentine the first thing I would like to correct here is that I have written dentine here but I would like to change this to dentine pulp complex dentine pulp complex but why did i do so it is because dentine and pulp they are related embryologically histologically and functionally therefore they are described together in many textbook as dentine pulp complex and i like this you know like this approach of taking them together because they kind of go in hand in hand and they are also related embryologically logically functionally so that kind of you know convinced me to use them like dentine pulp complex so i'll be you know changing the topic to dentine pulp complex okay let's proceed okay so the first question is what is dentine what is dentine so dentine is a hard tissue portion of the dentine pulp complex let me draw a teeth here so let us suppose we have our teeth here okay and let us suppose this is the pulp inside okay and let us do this way this blue thing right here this is the enamel i'm not going to color it because it takes a lot of time and let us suppose this thing this outline which is in blue and i'm trying to cover it with gray and i fail to do that this is the cementum cementum okay and this white portion all around here here everywhere this is the dentine this is the dentine and this white portion which is enclosed by this red outline this is the pulp okay so this is the pulp so this is how our teeth looks like okay so today we are just considering the dentine pulp complex so we are not taking into account the enamel and we are not taking account the cementum so the dentine it is the hard tissue portion of the dentine pulp complex okay not comparing to the enamel remember that's why i said that we are not taking into consideration the enamel here so this dentine it is a bone like matrix it is bone like matrix characterized by multiple closely packed dentinal tubules 
that traverses its entire thickness let me show you so if we have this dentine let us suppose we have numerous tubules in the dentine let me just randomly draw tubules so we have numerous tubules in the dentine and they are in its entire thickness and these tubules so tubules is kind of tube so we have a tube here we have a tube here so these tubes have the cytoplasmic extensions of odontoblast so odontoblast are cells so let us suppose let me find a suitable color let us suppose this was our odontoblast okay and its cytoplasmic extension means some branches are going off from here and that branches are within these tubule that's what it is saying okay now a question comes in the mind where are these odontoblast or these cells located i just draw it randomly here but where are they located so just let me erase it and show you okay so these odontoblast they are aligned along the inner aspect of the dentine like here you can say this is the inner aspect of dentine they are aligned here that is you can say they are forming the peripheral boundary of the dental pulp from here you can imagine if these are our cells the processes the odontoblastic process will go and we have our tubules here okay so this is how it looks like now coming on to the pulp so the dental pulp is divided into two parts we have the dental pulp which is inside the crown so this is our crown and it is somewhere here this portion which is inside the crown that is called the coronal pulp coronal pulp and this one it is called the radicular means root radicular pulp so we have coronal pulp and the radicular pulp and if you see this straight line here this won't be the shape of the roof the shape of the roof it resembles the shape of the crown so it will be something like this okay and this prominent portion here and here these will be called the pulp horns these will be called the pulp horns and we all know that we have nerves and vessels going on here inside the pulp and you also must be knowing that we have periodontal ligament that supports the teeth and it's getting very dirty but just to show you there could be sometimes connection between the pulp and the periodontal ligament okay so suppose this is the connection it's going from inside towards the periodontal ligament so this thing this is lateral canals lateral canals and these lateral canal they act as avenues for extension of disease from one tissue to the other means if the disease is here it can go here if the disease is here it can go here means they have a communication kind of thing so this makes lateral canals kind of important now let us proceed to the types of dentine very horrible attempt this is the reason i tell you don't be impulsive be prepared beforehand <laughs> unlike me okay so let me draw another diagram here i told you my handwriting as well as my drawing is really horrible okay so this looks like an ice cream but <laughs> let us suppose that this is a tooth and we are going to study about the types of dentine here okay let's proceed so first of all we'll study about the primary dentine so most of the tooth is formed by primary dentine so let me just 
show you or try to show you the prime dentine so all the major portion of the dentine in all the covering here and here okay so all the major portion of the tooth is the primary dentine all right so it outlines the pulp chamber this red one is the pulp and it's kind of outlining the pulp so that is the primary dentine and also referred to as circumpulpal dentine then we'll see what is mantle dentine mantle dentine so first of all let us see the enamel so this entire thickness is enamel and this blue line it represents the outer layer of the dentine okay and as you can see the outer layer of dentine is towards the enamel obviously and this dentine is called the mantle dentine means the outer layer of the dentine which is towards the enamel is called the mantle dentine and this dentine it differs from the rest of the primary dentine in the way it is mineralized and in the structural interrelation between the collagenous and non collagenous matrix component that is why we have given it a name mantle dentine because it is different from rest of the dentine how it is different it is different in the way it is mineralized and in its structural composition also and generally the mantle dentine refers to the outer layer in the coronal portion only means the outer layer of dentine which is in the crown portion this outline that is the mantle dentine and not this generally okay now coming on to the secondary dentine so secondary dentine develops after root formation has been completed and it represents continuing but much slower deposition of dentine by odontoblast okay so this dentine the secondary dentine it is deposited much slowly and it has a tubular structure so let me just show you so this secondary dentine it also has a tubular structure means let us suppose this is our secondary dentine it will also have tubules in them okay and these tubules they will be less regular compared to the primary one okay in the primary one it will be more regular let's suppose we have regularity here and here we have no regularity okay but they will be in continuation with the primary one means there will be kind of continuation you can find out the junction but still there will be a continuation the ratio of mineral to organic material is same for the secondary as well as the primary means the composition is kind of same one more thing there will be greater deposition of secondary dentine on the roof and the floor of the pulp chamber so let us draw a teeth here of a young person having pulp like this there will be deposition of secondary dentine here on the roof as well as here that is the roof and the floor of the pulp chamber so there will be asymmetric reduction in the size and shape of the pulp so this is called as the pulp recession with age we have pulp recession and it is very important in determining the form of cavity preparation for dental restorations because if you are creating a cavity and you don't consider the pulp right here in the radiograph you can encroach upon the pulp it will not be good for the patient as well as for you okay let's take an example if you have to prepare a tooth for full crown in young patient then the pulp horns and the pulp chamber in the young patient will be much higher okay so you cannot cut more tooth structure in the young patient because you can encroach upon the pulp earlier so you have to be very cautious but in the older people what will happen the pulp will be something like this it will be the pulp in the old person 
will have gone recession so that will be relatively safer for the older people to do the preparation the crown preparation will be much safer for the older people now coming back to tertiary dentine so tertiary dentine it is produced in reaction to various stimuli such as attrition then we have caries and restorative dental procedure okay and unlike the primary or the secondary dentine that forms along the entire pulp dentine border the tertiary dentine is produced only by those cells which are affected by the stimulus and one more thing to keep in mind is that the quality and the quantity of this tertiary dentine it is dependent on the intensity and duration of the stimulus so the stimulus will play a very important role in determining the quality and quantity of the tertiary dentine the cells which form the lining of tertiary dentine it gets embedded in the dentine so if this is our tertiary dentine and there were the cells they were forming they kind of get included in the dentine and that is referred to as osteodentine osteodentine the tertiary dentine is also classified into two subclassified it is classified as reactionary reactionary or reparative dentine reparative dentine so the reactionary dentine is deposited by pre-existing odontoblast remember pre-existing they are already present and the reparative dentine and it is deposited by newly differentiated odontoblast like cell so the cells here the odontoblast cells here are new and here they are already present i hope i am not shouting at you all so this was all about the types of dentine i hope you found this video helpful i think this was a very messy video tell me your views about it i'll try to improve more in the near future please do comment share subscribe and thanks for watching allah hafiz stay blessed